morning my loves and welcome to this week's video i hope you're all doing really well i'm really trying to get used to this new fringe situation that is going on as i mentioned in my last video my memory card corrupted so i lost a lot of footage which included me going to glow fulham which is where i get my hair done and i went in i said to jack okay i'm just so bored of my hair i've had the same color for since i can remember i was actually a little bit blonder for a while but other than that i've been the same color and pretty much the same length for years so i was like i'm gonna grow it out i'm gonna get it really long i'm bored of the face framing layers i want it all one length and i left with a fringe and about this short hair so so i just had a bit of a spontaneous moment he kind of spoke me into it and i'm glad he did because i've always wanted a fringe like this i did attempt one a few years ago but it just didn't really have the desired effect and i feel like now i know what it looks like but i'm just not 100 percent sure i'm not convinced i feel like the problem is where i dress a little bit more mature i often get told i don't dress for my age and that really isn't a comment that bothers me because i like dressing like this it's what i feel best in and it's what i really enjoy when i put outfits together so that's not a problem but the problem is if both my hair and my outfits are slightly more mature does that age me do you know what i mean i feel like sometimes this haircut i don't know i feel like it makes me look a bit older but maybe i'm wrong i don't know i'm getting used to it so um i do have a feeling i'm gonna ride it out and then grow it out my goal is to grow my hair as long as possible it often gets to like a bit of a point maybe about here and then it kind of just stops growing so so i've got a new goal this year which is to try growing my hair as long as possible and get through that kind of like barrier which normally stops here but anyway i'm just in my bathroom i finished doing my hair and my makeup just popped in some earrings these ones are my new favorites they're from nima row this is the other thing i just put in some earrings and they're like the vintage style earrings i've been loving wearing and i feel like with this haircut i just look i don't know it just doesn't quite work whereas these are quite modern looking and it really works i think anyway i'm at home this morning and the weather has been teasing us i feel like one day it's like beautiful spring vibes the blossom is out and then the next day it's so misty and rainy and disgusting like it is today but i decided to put on like quite a cute like spring type outfit let me show you in the mirror because today i'm starting with the spring cleaning and i always do this this time of year i think most people do it's just so therapeutic and it feels like a fresh start organizing cleaning tidying all of that kind of thing so i'm going to start today in my bedroom because i've got some new accessories and some updates in there that i want to show you guys it's almost finished i've just got a few little more bits and bobs to do so i thought it'd be nice to have a bit of a spring clean in there before everything arrives but yeah this is my outfit of the day i really love the color of this blue knit it's from zara i have to say i think i might rush this purchase a little bit which is a bit frustrating i like it i really love the shape i love the color but it's just the quality i'm not 100 percent sure about the quality i wish it was a bit more soft and then i've got some abercrombie jeans on oh my god guys my socks my mum made me these socks for christmas how adorable are they i love them so much back in my bedroom and it's been a long time since i've shown you any update in here i think the last thing i changed were these wardrobes which was ages ago now you guys might remember before the wardrobes were like this big dark gray mirrored sliding door situation and it had such bad storage so i then switched out for these ones which are so much more pretty and the storage in here is now fantastic i can show you that in a minute because i do want to sort out this wardrobe but first let me show you some of my new furniture here's how my bedroom is currently looking i think i showed you this bed ages ago it's one of the first furniture items that arrived in the apartment it's from drift interiors they do bespoke beds i actually designed this one myself and i believe they now sell it so if you want to buy it you can buy the design and then these are my new lamps they've just arrived and i really love them they're from pookie i actually ordered some different ones initially but they were just too small i really love the scale of these i don't know if you can see but they're really really big i'll put a picture on screen of the other ones i bought because i love them they were antique brass with like acrylic and they were so cool but just too small especially because this is quite high and these are quite low did i say they were from pookie i can't remember but these are from pookie and i love like the textured uh, beautiful linen shade and then the base is this nice antique brass i actually need to take off the tacks should we do that now so these may look like ordinary bedside lamps which they are however I have done something kind of cool to jazz them up a little bit and I'm going to show you what that is now. I bought my little Alexa device here. So I bought some Alexa powered light bulbs. These are so cool. I thought they would be so expensive. I think they're about £16 for a two pack. And then they connect via Wi-Fi and then via an app on your phone and through Alexa. And it's amazing because you can set them on a timer. You can tell Alexa to put them on and off. 
So if I go Alexa, ambience. Okay. How cool is that? Wait, okay, it's a little bit bright now. Let me turn it down. Like, I just think that is the coolest thing ever. And you can make them really bright, you can make them really dim, you can make them any color of the rainbow. If I'm feeling a bit stressed or I'm struggling to sleep or something, I'll make them red, because red light is really good just before you go to bed. I've never seen anyone with these before, but my Amazon recommended them to me, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy them. I used to have the Alexa um, Switch, I still have that somewhere, and it does the same thing. I just think it's so cool. I'm very entertained by it, as you can see. Let's just cut the label off the other one. Now on to the next furniture piece that I bought. This took about a year to arrive, but I was really set on having round bedside tables with good storage, and that's actually so hard to find, especially in like a nice colour. One regret, I slight where I have, is these curtains. I do really like the look of them, I think they're lovely, but where the colour is not warm and it's not cool, it's actually very hard to tonally match things that aren't beige. And where the bedside tables sit next to the curtains, they have to kind of match. But anyway, let me show you. The reason I was so set on having round bedside tables is because everything in this room is quite square and angular. Obviously with the bed you've got the rectangle here, the rectangle here. There's just a lot of harsh lines in this room and I wanted something quite soft. And as soon as I put these bedside tables in, it really just softened the vibe of the room. And I know that sounds strange but it does really work thinking about these little details. To be honest, the colour is a bit different to how it looks online, they're slightly more grey. I actually think it's fine. And once I've accessorised, add some colourful pillows, I'm gonna add a little um, like nice uh, gold frame here. I think it will all tie together really well and you won't notice that everything is a little bit beige right now. These are from a brand called House of Isabella and they have great storage, which is what I really wanted. Right now I've just chucked some random things um, in here, I haven't actually organized these very well. I do really like them and I think things are coming together now. Okay, so let's talk about bedding and sleep. By the way, the jeans I'm wearing are fresh out the wash because I have a strict no outside clothes on the bed. Let me know if you can relate to that because I really internally freak out if anyone comes into my house uh, with outside clothes and sits on my bed with their outside clothes, I will be having an internal meltdown. It's so funny actually, my friend Sarah, she um, has just bought a place herself and she came over to sit on, sounds really weird, came over to um, te test out B and I's beds because we both have different mattresses. B loves a really squishy, soft bed. I love a little bit or more of a firm, supportive bed. So it's kind of like a Goldilocks and the three bears situation. Anyway, Sarah came over and she's the cutest person. She came over with a bag of cloves so she could get changed from her outside clothes to her inside clothes. She doesn't even know that I have this issue with outside clothes. She just happens to be the same as me. And I just thought that was so sweet. Anyway, I'm very passionate about my bed, how it feels, investing in good bedding, all of that kind of thing. So I thought I'd run you through everything I use. And you guys might remember about a year and a half ago, I worked with Emma Sleep. They uh, gave me one of their mattresses. I tried it out to see if I liked it or not, and I was converted. I've also converted Sarah and a few of my other friends to Emma because it's just so good. But anyway, after loving their mattress so much, I bought the topper myself, not part of the collaboration. And it is just even better. And now even Sarah has also bought the topper. It is so good. But I am actually working with Emma Sleep again on this video, which is really exciting because, because they have sent me one of their duvets to try it out. And if it is anything as good as the mattress and the topper, I'm sure I'm gonna love it. And they also sent the pillows as well. Obviously I'll give you guys an update when I've actually used it and slept with it for a few nights. Oh, I love this. Okay, so it's like two duvets in one and they attach together so you can switch out seasonally. First impressions are it's very lightweight. I feel like it needs to fluff out a bit though. It's lightweight and very soft. And Emma currently are doing their Easter sale, which is on until the 1st of April with up to 40% off. So if like me, you want a bit of a bed refresh, it's a good time to buy. So they have three different pillows and I chose the microfiber pillow uh, just because I like the pillows to be quite like poofy like this. And whoa, this is poofy. And then you can also, I believe, take out, yes you can, there's layers inside here, so if you, so if it's not quite the right height, you can take out a layer, which is good as well actually, if you have guests, because then you kind of have like a one size fits all pillow. Oh, this is great. As mentioned, they're doing their sale at the moment, but I also have a 5% code that you guys can use on top of the sale. So I'll put all the details on the screen and you can click the link in the description box down below. Alexa, play Spotify. Okay, here's Spotify. <laughs>
the washed sheets. Now I've just popped this little black cushion here. I feel like it needed some contrast, otherwise it's all a bit wishy-washy. Um, but I think I'm gonna swap this, either for like a pop of color or something like textured with a bit of dark brown in it maybe, just to add in a bit of depth. But for now, this is how I've styled everything up. So I've got my pinky lights, I've got um, this little vase I bought from The White Company. I've got some Jo Malone. I love, love, love this smell. This is Moonlit Chamomile. It's kind of like, it's a pillow mist and it's kind of a little bit masculine, very like nighttime. It's just gorgeous. It also fills up the entire house, even with a few spritzes. This is just from Amazon, my Lexa. Gorgeous cashmere throw. It's from the white company again, as are all of my sheets. And then on this side, I think it'd be nice to add like a little tray, just so these little uh, bits and bobs aren't floating around. I've got this candle from Maze and Francis, which smells delicious. Some white company restore muscle gel and some supplements I'm just currently taking. Another new item of furniture is this bench. As you walk into my room, there's just like a little kind of like entrance way here. I used to have drawers here, which felt very cluttered. And now I think this is just like a nice way to enter a room. It feels very inviting. Um, but I do have all of this room here now. So I'm thinking probably like a big canvas artwork maybe. Oh, and I haven't even told you guys, guess where this bench is from? I trawled the internet for hours and hours to try find a bench. Benches are really weirdly either very cheap or very expensive. And then I randomly came across this one on Amazon, can you believe it? I think it was £80. You would never guess. I mean, the quality feels really nice. I feel like there must be some sort of catch. It has this kind of like slightly uh, like rustic, shabby chic antique look with all of these details in the wood. But the quality feels really nice, which seems really odd from like a Amazon purchase of furniture, but I really like it. And then the last new thing to show you guys is in my office slash the bunny's bedroom. Although I say this is my office, I rarely, rarely use it as an office. I just do my makeup in here in the morning and it's kind of just like the bunny's little area. They're never locked in here or closed in here. It's kind of where they like to hang out most of the time. This is their little box which um, I need to paint. This is where their litter tray is and their hay and everything. But anyway, the new piece of furniture is this. This is my new little stool. I bought this from Six The Residence. They have some really nice furniture. I love the texture. It's like a boucle and it has all of this really gorgeous like fringing on the bottom which I was very worried about the bunnies nibbling but they actually, well by the looks of it, they haven't nibbled it at all. Actually, <laughs> Have they nibbled? There might be a little bit of a nibble here unless it was, unless it was like this already. But pretty good so far. I've had it for a good few weeks now. But I think it works really nicely in here. Then I've got my lovely little dressing table set up. Again, I want to put some art on the wall here. And the other task to do in here is just to change this little light for something a bit more pretty. Okay, now I just want to quickly give this a bit of a spring clean um, and a bit of a refresh, just popping my hair up. Um, the only thing of having a fringe and shorter hair, it's a bit shorter, it's about, yeah, about here is unless it's styled it just doesn't look that good i'm horse riding today so there's no point me um styling it because there's nothing worse than going horse riding with nice hair because you just know it's going to get ruined so this is the wardrobe where i keep all of my cozy at home casual things lots of basics got underwear socks pajamas horse riding um like cozy knits and stuff like that and i haven't cleared it out in a while so i feel like i need to refresh it a little bit i feel like the easiest thing to do is going to be to take everything out I had a lot of questions about this in my last video. It's from Marcella London. It's this gorgeous cardigan and it's so heavy and cozy and just, oh, it's just beautiful. Um, and I don't wear it far as much as I should, but it's perfect just for wearing like around the house if you don't want to be in a dressing gown. Speaking of dressing gowns, I have a lot of dressing gowns because I have lots for different occasions. I have one for when I wake up, one for when I get out of the shower, one for when I'm getting ready, one for when I'm around the house. I just love a dressing gown. This one is from the Napco, it's another really nice one. Love this set so much. This is a silk set from Lily Silk. I wear this a lot when I go like traveling and stuff. It's a good kind of like casual, but cozy, but chic daytime look. Another dressing gown. This one is from Lily Silk again. These pajamas are from H&M, I've had them for years. These are a great like working from home kind of comfy option. Am I doing this in colour order? I feel like I should. Yes, I'm going to do some colour order. Another pair of really gorgeous pyjamas. 
sorry, the light keeps on going on and off, it's just a sensor. There you go. Um, another pair of really gorgeous pyjamas. These are from a brand called The Robe AU. Just look how pretty they are. They've got like the feathers and like some beautiful detailed embellished buttons. The pyjamas that you have seen me in a lot recently are these ones from Abercrombie and Fitch. So gorgeous with the lace. Um, of the lace cuffs, I really love these ones as well. Now these trousers, I have not worn these in, oh gosh, about two years now. You might remember these, if you followed me for a long time, I used to wear them all the time on my Instagram, when I first started Instagram around five years ago. They're from Pretty Little Thing, and oh my God, they have really stood the test of time. They're like a jogger in this kind of like textured material, and I can't part with them, I don't know why. I feel like they're a good basic but I never ever wear them so I think I'm gonna keep them my camera just died I'm gonna put some pictures up on screen because it just really reminds me of when I first started and it was when I first started affiliate um, marketing as well and using affiliate links and I remember I had like five sales or something um, on these trousers and I was like completely shocked I couldn't believe people were buying from my recommendations and then fast forward to now where affiliate marketing is um, a big part of my income which is kind of crazy anyway some more kind of comfy trousers more fancy pyjamas, these ones are Nadine Marabi. And then we have some hoodies. I've recently discovered that Abercrombie are amazing for hoodies. Previously I was getting them from Zara, and then this one is from Anine Bing. Always love an Adenola hoodie, another Anine Bing. Really love this gilet from Bali. Where would this go? This would probably go here. Or here. Another really nice Bali jumper. This sweater is from Cos. They also do great basics. Um, oh, I love this. This is a matching set from Aritzia. I bought this in the autumn, so I haven't had much of a chance to wear the set yet. But it's this paired with the effortless pants. Look, I think it's going to be really nice as like a chic dress down look in the summer. I don't know why this is in this wardrobe, but this is a set from Massimo Duty. This is part of their studio range, and I bought it because I love it. It's so cute. It's like this, um, it's a little crochet skirt with a matching, with a matching jacket. And it's just so cute, but I've never worn it, and it's so annoying because I love it. But it is one of those things that I normally try and avoid in my wardrobe, where there aren't that many events or times where you would wear this. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to keep it because I have high hopes I will wear this one day, but it is a lesson to me not to buy things that you can only wear a few times. One, two, three stripy knits that all look the same, but I think are slightly different. Um, this is a really nice H&M one. I love this one. It's so, like cute this one is from Giovanna London which to be fair I haven't worn this one I've been wearing this one so maybe this one I can part ways with and then this one is Arquette and it is so similar but this one is part of a set so this is part of like a little shortened uh, top set and this is in like a toweling material so nice for holidays and Nina Bing oversized tee this is such a gorgeous cashmere knit from Reese. Um, where would this go? Here. We have six black knits that are all the same, but all very different at the same time. To be fair, I usually have one or two of these in the wash at any given time. So I'm absolutely not going to part way with any of them. Another cashmere knit. This one is from the White Company. Another really nice one just to wear at home with leggings, feels super cosy. I don't love wearing this one out the house just because it's very like oversized and kind of baggy and I just feel a little bit like meh in it sometimes. But just for like around the house it's really nice. A of oversized t-shirts, Adenola and Naked. Another cute home co-ord set. This is also nice for travelling, this one's from Boa. This one is from Pretty Lavish. somebody who doesn't love stripes, I have a lot of stripes. I do wear this one, so this one is staying as well. And then this is also part of like a two-piece set. This is from a brand called Sankia. I think it's Spanish and they have some really beautiful pieces. So this one is definitely staying. 
And then I keep this little jewelry box here from Stackers. This is just some like costume drawing and like big things. And here's how it's looking now. All in colour order, which makes me so happy. It looks a lot more neat and tidy. Good evening. I have a cup of tea in one hand and my face mask in the other. Let's put this down. It is currently a Saturday. And if you're thinking I'm looking a little bit worse for wear, B and I and um, some of the girls went out last night in a very random pub in Balham. And it's rare that all the girls are able to come together. So when we do, I just think we got a bit excited and just drank far too much. So I'm definitely feeling a bit, a bit ropey today. Hence why I'm having an early night in my pajamas with a cup of tea and a face mask. Okay, so we have some things to catch up on. Since I last filmed, I went to Paris for two nights with Demelia London. I went a day early because I thought whilst the weather is nice and I'm in Paris, I may as well shoot some content. I love, love, love shooting in Paris because there are just so many good backgrounds and places to shoot. Whereas in London, I mean, there are lots of places in London, but I guess I'm just used to it. Okay, why have I applied this so badly? Probably because I don't have a mirror. I know it's just a face mask, but I still want it to look nice. I feel a bit ridiculous talking to you guys like this. It's like, okay, I'm gonna take full advantage. I'm gonna shoot like six outfits, six TikTok slash reels and a YouTube video. Looking back on that now, that was so unachievable in the space of time we had. And I was setting myself up for failure and disappointment because although you could probably get that done, I like to take my time with these things. I like to enjoy these things. And it was so rushed and I was stressed. I didn't get half the things I wanted to get done. I think I got about, we ended up shooting three outfits and we did a couple of um, short form videos as well. I did vlog a little bit, but honestly guys, I just don't even want to put the footage in this vlog. And to be honest, I was kicking myself and I was really beating myself up for the whole of Friday. I was just so angry at myself for not getting half the things I wanted to done. And only now where I've reflected and I've kind of realized actually that wasn't achievable. I'm kind of being a bit kinder to myself. But it's okay, I feel like these things are always a lesson and now I know not to overdo it. So yeah, the content I did shoot will be on my Instagram and maybe some on YouTube shorts and stuff like that. So if you see them, make sure you go like them. I'll put my Instagram details on the screen as well. So make sure you go follow me on there if you don't already. Oh my God, quick interruption, but a message has just popped up on my phone and it's reminded me of so many memories from last night. I met about five of you girls and it was the best time ever. And it was just in the most unexpected place. I've never been to this pub before before and meeting and meeting so many of you girls on a night out when I think we were all quite drunk to be fair it was just so much fun whenever I meet you girls in real life it makes my day I'm always so excited and it's just so interesting to hear about what you guys do and like your lives and just the best best feeling um but anyway I'm getting distracted what was I talking about before I think I was talking about Paris but yeah sometimes with these experiences I really wish I could vlog more of them and I feel like I used to be a bit better at it but then I also used to put way less pressure on myself to have so much content so i'm thinking about on the days where i feel like vlogging is going to be too much and a bit like too overwhelming for me i'm thinking of just vlogging like via tiktok and uploading that to youtube shorts maybe um obviously it'll be a lot shorter form content like around two minutes but i kind of feel like that is a lot more achievable i know i've said it before but i adore vlogging and i love youtube purely because of you guys. I think you guys are amazing and I love to share more intimate life, more intimate parts of my life with you guys on here. For example, I probably never come onto my Instagram or TikTok looking like this. You know, YouTube for me is very unpolished. I come as I am, my hair might be greasy, I might be looking horrible, whatever. I feel very comfortable to do that. But, and I know I've said this before, but I find YouTube sometimes a bit overwhelming on days where I also have to get content from other platforms. Whereas when I'm just at home kicking around or if I'm just going out and about and I know that this is the only thing I need to commit to, I love it. So yeah, I might start doing that and see um, how that goes. Oh my God, one thing I didn't update you guys on are the new pillows and duvet. I've slept in this bed for two nights. No, maybe three. Obviously, I'm working for Emma Sleep, but as always, all my opinions and everything I recommend to you guys is 100% authentic and true to myself. The pillows are 10 out of 10. I love them. The duvet is amazing because it is so big and poofy. It really kind of fluffed out and it's so thick, but it's not hot. I'm such a hot sleeper. I am honestly like a living, breathing hot water bottle. The last duvet was so, so thin, which is perfect because it's not hot but it's not like snuggly and cozy. They claim for this duvet to be heat regulating and I have never believed those claims before because they never work, but it genuinely does work with this one. I slept as snug as a bug in a rug 
very happy, perfect temperature. And I'm not sure if it'll be the case that in the summer it gets too hot at the moment, I think it's fine, but I can always take off one of the layers and yeah, it's great. My boyfriend also noticed, he didn't know that I was doing this ad and he mentioned it yesterday and I was like, okay, this is great. So yeah, I'll put the discount code and everything on the screen and um, everything will be down below as well. Okay, my loves, I'm now going to order myself a poke bowl, have an early night, watch the bowl type on BBC iPlayer and have an early night. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all so, so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.